So welcome everyone. Today we are going to be talking about the cassette toilet again. Our last video we got a lot of comments asking questions and kind of debating whether the cassette toilet is really the right thing. So we wanted to answer some of those questions and give you our perspective on the cassette toilet and maybe some more insight into how we use it and why we use it the way we do. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. So one of the most popular questions we've gotten about the cassette toilet since our video is, what is the point of the cassette toilet if you only use it for number one? Yes. As I've been looking through the comments, a lot of you are wondering, you know, I, I won't get into some of the language used, but, you know, it's basically just a pot to go number one in. And that is how we're using it. So for those of you who don't know, we don't go number two in our cassette toilet. The reason for that, uh, the cassette toilet is for ours is 4.6 gallons. So if we were to use it for number two, it would fill up a lot quicker. When we go to dump it, it would actually take longer to rinse all of that stuff out than just number one. With number one, it's a quick, simple rinse, but we have used our cassette toilet for number two. It works fine. There are a lot of people out there who use it for number two. Uh, cassette toilets are very popular in Europe. People use them for everything. This is really just a personal choice for us. And it's strictly done because of the uh, capacity. We like to try to go as long as possible and then make it as easy as possible when we dump to get it rinsed out and put it back in the van. I don't know, that, that pretty much covers it. Yeah, so the cassette toilet, just to be clear, can be used for one and two. Yeah, I think there was a, some misconceptions during our last video when people watched that thinking that you can only go number one in the cassette toilet and that's absolutely not the case. Uh, there have been times where we're out, it's the middle of the night, we don't have another place to go to the bathroom, it's an emergency, you just go in the cassette, it's not a big deal, it's easy, and just like any other RV type toilet, just a smaller holding tank. Now the benefit for us that we've discussed before, is that we can empty a cassette toilet virtually in any toilet. Uh, one really easy solution that we've found is finding porta potties. A lot of times we will dump in straight into a porta potty. We go to parks, uh, truck stops, rest areas, and we can go right in, dump the cassette. It's not a problem. It doesn't splash. It's very clean and easy. Ready for the next one? I am. Okay. So this one is very popular as well. Since you still have to empty the gray tank, mm -hmm. why not just use a traditional black tank? Ah, so this is a great question and something I'm sorry we didn't cover in our first video. The, it is true, you have to dump the gray tank. And one thing I found is that when we are out in the middle of nowhere or we don't have a traditional dump station to use, I found that you can actually dump the gray tank straight into the cassette and use that to rinse the cassette out. So what I'll do is take the cassette over to the bathroom dump it out, come back to the van, and then empty the gray tank into the cassette, swish it around, go dump that out. And I've found it works really well. Um, again, no mess, very easy to do. And if the gray tank is quite full, I might go and make a few trips back and forth, but that's really about it. So you don't need a dump station whatsoever, even with the gray tank, because you can use your cassette to dump your gray. Now, if you, since we don't use the cassette for number two, mm -hmm. what do we do while we're remote camping? Okay, well, why don't I, I'll cover what we do for everything okay. and get into remote camping. So since we don't use the cassette for number two on a regular basis, again, we do use it when we need to. Um, we just go into businesses. So we will be out uh, if we're staying at a, let's say a Walmart, we'll go inside in the morning, use the bathroom, uh, campgrounds, we'll use their bathhouse, or even at friends' houses, we'll go inside and just use their bathroom. When we're remote camping or boondocking, what we'll do is a couple different solutions. So on occasion when we're out and we're all alone in the area, we can just go outside. Now for the different places you camp, there are different rules about how to deal with human waste. Uh, sometimes you have to dig a hole, other times you have to remove it completely. 
what we like to do is we carry extra um, shopping bags or plastic bags that we get at the store and we'll reuse those to pick up our waste. Uh, there are occasions we'll carry a like a pail or something to put those in and then whenever we drive out we take our waste with us and dispose of it properly. Same way you would dispose of pet waste. Exactly. And then other times we do dig a hole and we will bury it if we're allowed to do that in that area. So that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, and one other thing. If we are boondocking but we're with a big group of people and we're going to be out there for a while, one thing that we've done and it works really well is we will actually line the toilet with a plastic bag. Go number two in there, take the bag, tie it up, and then put it in a bin outside. And then once we're ready to go, we can, we take that out and dispose of it. Okay. Is there much splashing when you empty the cassette toilet? Well, you had a year of dumping. Did you ever have a problem with splashing? I did not. No, have I haven't you? either. No. The only thing that is a bit tricky is if you take the cassette to a standard RV dump. So normally a standard RV dump will be a PVC pipe or something coming out of the ground. It takes a little bit of skill to hold the cassette properly and get it in without spilling anything. Once you get it, once you get the technique down, no spilling, no problem. Uh, when you go to a toilet, same thing. It comes out smoothly enough that as you're dumping into the toilet, the waste will fill up the toilet and it will naturally flush itself because of the P-trap that's in there. Once you're done flushing, excuse me, once you're done dumping, you flush again and clean out the toilet, you're good to go. No splash, no mess, no fuss. This leads to, do you rinse the cassette toilet after dumping it? Most of the time. And I think that's one, another benefit of us only using it for number one is we don't have to rinse it every time. It is a nice thing to do, but not required. Uh, so when we are kind of in a rush or we're not in a place where we have a source of water or, you know, I don't want to go under and try to empty the gray tank, what I'll do is just go in, empty it, put it right back into the van. And then next time we do have access to water, I'll do a more thorough job at trying to rinse it out. We have a super chat from Jill. Oh, thank you, Jill. Her question is, do you use any chemicals in the cassette at all? Love you guys. Jill, awesome question. So we've tried various chemicals. When we got the van, it came with um, Thetford's chemical that they recommend for the cassette. We used it. There was a bit of a chemical smell to it, so we didn't really like it. Uh, we've tried some other chemicals, but the thing we found that works the best is simple distilled white vinegar. And what we do is we pour a little bit in the toilet to kind of disinfect the toilet, uh, run some water and drain that into the cassette. That'll sit in the cassette and it does a great job at uh, managing the odors in there. And I would say since we've started using the cassette, excuse me, since we've started using vinegar, uh, things in the cassette have gone great. We don't have any issues. And I prefer that over any of the chemicals that yes. are out on the market, just because I'm very sensitive to smells. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, the white vinegar works really well. Yeah, and I would say, you know, it's another thing to consider for the environment and for some other things. There are a lot of chemicals out there that have formaldehyde in them, or, you know, the treatments that have formaldehyde. So we like to avoid stuff like that. The vinegar probably works better than um, any of the other chemicals we've tried in the past, and it's completely natural. So, this is an interesting question. Um, someone asked if it's possible to carry two or three cassettes, like extra cassette uh, holding tanks. Absolutely. Uh, you can carry as many as you can fit in the van. So, Thetford and some of the different companies that sell them do provide you can go out and buy spare cassettes personally it's something we thought about when we first got the van because we were coming from a traditional rv with a 40 gallon black tank that would last us 10 days to two weeks and we were thinking we needed all the capacity we could handle um, after being in the van for a few weeks we realized there's no need for us to carry around a spare cassette um, it's not something we worry about. It's easy to find places to dump. And I would say, you know, if it's something you feel like you need, maybe try out the cassette toilet 
and see how it works for you. And then with the knowledge that if you needed it, you can upgrade and get yourself an extra cassette or two to pop in there if you want the extra capacity. Which leads to this question. Uh, do you have any issues with the weight of the cassette when you're dumping? Oh, um, I don't, we haven't had any issues, but when you think about it, the cassette, it's 4.6 gallons. We never let it get completely full. We're usually dumping more often than um, we have to, but at a full cassette, you know, you're talking uh, four and a half gallons at just over eight gallon or eight pounds per gallon of water or liquid. So that's going to get over 30 pounds. It's heavy. Um, it does have wheels and a little handle you can pull out to wheel over to a place, but you're still going to need to lift it to get it into the toilet. So I would say for anyone that should be a consideration. Uh, a way around that is to maybe fill it when it only gets half full. So rather than 30 some pounds, it's maybe only 15 or 16. So that is a way to get around it. But again, yes, if you do let it get full, it can become heavy. Okay. And I think this might be our last question, which is a good one. Uh, when we're dumping, mm -hmm. has anyone ever said anything to us when dumping at a rest stop or other bathrooms? I'll let you go first. Okay. The one time I had someone ask me what I was holding, I was dumping the cassette at a campground in Oregon with a fellow active owner and friend. Um, she and I were going to the restroom to dump our cassettes and they asked what it was and we told them what it was. And it was that simple. And we continued to go into the bathroom and dump our cassette. So I've never had a negative experience dumping the cassette. Mm -hmm. You? No, never. I mean, there have been a few times I've gone into the bathroom to dump it and people, people give me a look. They're wondering what it is I'm carrying in with me. Uh, I've never had anyone complain. It doesn't really smell too much. So there's not an issue there. Uh, but one thing we don't do is we don't take the cassette into a restaurant or inside a Walmart big box store. Usually we try to stick with bathrooms where you don't have to to enter the actual um, store or wherever it is we are, you just go straight into the bathroom. So for example, if we're at a gas station or truck stop where you can get into the bathroom from the outside, we'll use that. But like I said, I think the easiest solution for us are porta potties. They are everywhere. Uh, it's easy to dump and we're actually contributing a bit of a service because sometimes there's a bit of a pyramid in the uh, <laughs> porta potty. You dump that in, you can help spread things out for other people. So. And rest areas. Yeah, I mean, there rest are areas. So many options and places to dump the cassette. Yes. I don't think we've ever had a problem. No, and I will say that was one bit of stress being on the road with a full size RV because we would always be looking for the next dump station. Yes, we could go a full, I would say about 10 days, but you know, we had our black tank, we also had a 60 gallon gray tank. And when we went to dump, we would be spending upwards of half an hour to get all that stuff out, get the black tank cleaned out. Um, and it was one of those things where every town we went to, we had to look on a map to see how long we could spend there and to find out whether or not they had a dump station. Because not all places do, and there were some times we had to leave early so we could go someplace else and find a dump station. Uh, we've never had that problem with the cassette. No. Well, I hope that answered a lot of the questions that came up after our cassette toilet video. Yeah. Um, so, is there anything else? No, I think to recap, uh, cassette toilet is great for number one and number two. It is our personal preference that we don't use it for number two for the reasons I stated earlier. I think that has been the biggest point of contention about our use of the cassette toilet. But from our experience, when using it for number two, it works great. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Well, thank you for joining us for this a bit off <laughs> <laughs> off color live stream. Yeah. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.